friends, it's me, and today we're checking out some funny parents on TikTok. I don't want to go to school tomorrow, I can't study. What I wanted versus, hey dad, can you send me a video of you saying I don't want to go to school tomorrow? So he could do the TikTok with his dad. No busy, no time for TikTok. Here, my son. I don't want to go to school tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, goodbye. Wait, you have to sing it. I don't want to go to school tomorrow. He gave him the link, right? Okay, now stand further and sing it. Y'all leading him on at this point. Okay, sit down the camera carefully and then... I don't want to go tomorrow school. <laughs> I don't want to go tomorrow school. <laughs> this dude's dad is so funny. Must protect him at all costs. I guess somehow he missed the link that showed the TikTok. She was watching a movie with her daughter and she pretended to hook up her bike to the TV. So whenever she stops pedaling, the movie pauses and she has to keep pedaling to watch more. I mean, this is genius. If you want your kid to do some exercise, like put them on the bike. Oh, why did the movie stop? Guess I gotta pedal harder. It's hilarious how they actually fall for these things. Children are just so gullible. Like it doesn't even have to be plugged in for them to believe it. You know, you can also give them a controller and have them sit next to you while you play video games and they'll be like mashing buttons pretending like they're playing like they're doing something with an unplugged controller asking my bestie to create miniature besties with me do you want to form an alliance with me <gasps> the due dates are one day apart oh this is the dream and me and my friend said this if we ever have a kid we gotta do it at the same time because we're gonna raise them together the plan was for them to be best friends and like we're best friends how cool would that be but like what if they like grow up and hate each other well this is awkward we didn't just plan out your entire life and your best friend for y'all to hate each other our dog died and my mom posts this. She posted on Facebook, the dog with the caption, see you soon, my boy. What do you mean soon? That's dark. Like we just lost the dog. We don't need to lose you. Put your hand out in front of your child to see what they do. <laughs> food? Is hand food? Oh wait, you're not supposed to bite the hand that feeds. I would have smacked it, we gave a high five. Maybe hold it, no, just chop down to sign. Mother, I'm still hungry. Texting the group chat. Can somebody come kill the spider in my room? And their parents come in with a chair. Hey, yo, is this necessary? What's mother got? Oh, <laughs> there are two kinds of people in this world. When trying to kill a spider, either bring a chair or a cardboard and a cup. You know, safely capture it and let it free outside. Dad came in to kill, squash, murder. Hey, Granny, do you have a boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend, and I don't want it. And if I want one, I could have four or five of them if I want. But oh. I don't want to associate with nobody. Oh, she is a whole mood. Grandma, same. You know, this is some really good advice. Now, I could have four or five of them at the same time if I wanted to, but, like, <laughs> I don't want to associate with nobody. Words of wisdom to live by. Hiding something for my Asian mom prank. Oh, no, you can't do that. What happened? You Nothing. can't do what that. Happened? What are you trying to hide? Nothing, no. What do you, what do you need? Why you jump? No, I didn't jump. <laughs> you just jumped. No, I didn't. You're hiding you something. Say? If you slap your laptop right away, you are hiding something. What the hell are you doing? It's nothing. Tell me. It's nothing, mom. Show me. It's nothing. Just show me. No, it's nothing. <laughs> nothing can hide. We're family. No, it's nothing. Nothing you mom. need to hide. I, mom. We gotta I, share everything. Oh, you really put him on the spot here. I don't think you want to see what your teenage son is looking at. He's probably on Reddit. It's just schoolwork. So show me your schoolwork. Why do I have to show you it? Because I'm your mother. No. <laughs> You're my son. No. Okay. Show me. It's just quite convincing. What the hell are you doing? She <laughs> really got you there. <laughs> what are you watching? You watching dirty not, stuff? No, I'm not watching dirty stuff, mom. Can we share? No, what? What? Oh, no, no, no. If that happened to me, I'm gonna crawl into my room and I'm never coming out. Mother, you have gone too far. Pops has had this phone for days. So he got a brand new iPhone. And then this is his phone case. He uses the box that it came in as the phone case. What a legend. Okay, okay, I see him transcending over here. Like, why buy a case when it comes with a perfectly good one? <laughs> Excuse me, do you happen to be stupid? I feel like my mom would have panicked and was like, why, what's wrong? Till you realize that maybe you should just open your eyes. Hey, what does it say on your head? Hey, we're gonna find out. What does it say on your head? 
Can we play Ludacris or something? Can we? <laughs> oh, yeah. Read it. <laughs> read your head. I can't. My eyes are bad. Ha happy birthday. No. <laughs> Did she say happy birthday? Did she guess? Look at my glasses on. Like, it's that bad? Hey, yes, daddy. No. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. No. <laughs> she spelled it out like she was reading it. Like, happy birthday. You know, when somebody tells you something and you're just like, okay. But you didn't hear what they said. This motherfucker got 43. 49. 43. <laughs> Out. She's Get so out. mad she forgot how to count. Why you got 49,000 V-Bucks? Go to sleep. Uh-oh. Somebody's in trouble. Go to sleep before I put you to sleep. And parents these days are getting too smart. How is she gonna look at the screen and even know what a V-Bucks is? You got more V-Bucks than me. Hey, Mom. Hi, baby. You got a problem with me? Do I have a problem with who? Me. Do you got a problem with yeah, me? Yeah, now I have a problem with you. Who are you talking to like that? I was just asking you if you did or not. I just wanted to make sure you're cool. <laughs> Yo, I swear to God. <laughs> you know, there could be no problem. But when you come in here talking to your mom in that tone, there's a problem. Yes, mother. Making sure there's no problem. There's a problem in the process of making a problem. My granddaughter wanted a Cinderella themed party, so I invited all her friends over and made them clean my house. <laughs> I mean, you wanted to act like Cinderella? Cinderella was basically a servant. You like, you want the pumpkin carriage, the glass slipper, like you gonna have to deal with the first part of Cinderella's life. Grandma, you wrong for- Ah, shit. Uh, when my mom you fails, get water the same thing. Get out, you can't do anything. I... Oh, she did the same thing. Oh, but you can't say anything though. You can't be like, oh, well, well you, you can't do it either. Everywhere. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's a problem if you can't do something right. But if your parents can't do it either, all you could do is stand there and look smug about it. If you say anything, you will be silenced by force. She made her child a meal that says, you piss me off. And the kid is so excited because guess what? She can't read. You know, it's the little things. Subtle little message. And then when she gets older, she'll start putting together the pieces. Like, <laughs> it's all fun and games until she learns how to read. Imagine her reading her first word. You piss meow. What? I know you guys are thinking about having kids, but I just wanted to bring mine over and show you what you're getting yourself into. He made a mask out of a Texas toast box today and insisted he wore it to Kroger's. Do you understand the looks I got? Come here, show him this. This is what I had to walk next to. Aww, he likes it. Let him wear his Texas toast hat. I know people are gonna like look at you funny and be like, what's wrong with his kid? He ain't do nothing wrong. Give your kid an empty plate and see how they react. What is this? Like the dog trend? Mom. What? My food is gone. Oh. What you mean? My food is gone. Oh no. Where'd it go? It's gone, but I didn't even eat anything. Oh no. What happened? I don't know, you tell me. Mom, what happened? You didn't just eat no. it? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Oh no, it's not. I'm gonna go get your food right now. Oh. Ah, he's so cute. He's so precious. Oh, it's all right, Mom. Maybe he thought it was his fault. Like, the food just disappeared. Maybe I just, like, casted a spell in my brain. I mean, I did look away for, like, one second. Anything could have happened. POV. Eight-year-old me hearing my dad brush his teeth. Why does it sound like that? Why does it sound like they are hacking out a hairball? Also, dads make the worst sounds, like snoring. Like, y'all ever been in the same hotel room with your dad snoring and you're trying to fall asleep? Pure rage. Come here. My friends want to see what you look like. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Are they mental? I know it's an old trend, but I love this trend. When these girls just like look at you and they just start laughing. <laughs> I would be so embarrassed, like what did I do? They're definitely not laughing with me, they're laughing at me. What's that one thing your ex gave you that you can't quite get rid of? This asshole right here. Dad was filming a cute TikTok, or you know what? It could all be a front. He could be faking this sweet and innocent smile. And then as soon as he stopped recording, throw the controller at the back of daddy's head. She did this prank on her mother, where she closes her eyes and pretends she can't see. I mean, that's what happens when you close your eyes. Will it work? Mom, I can't see! I can't see when I close my eyes! Mom, I can't see when I close my eyes! 
smacker. Can you see that gummy? When you ask your mom for a traditional recipe, there is no recipe. It needs skill, not recipe. You don't have the skills. <laughs> I mean, she finally said it. The only time my mom leaves me on red is when I ask her for a recipe. I don't know why she'd be gatekeeping everything. I'm like, I need to learn how to make this. My mom is the definition of gaslight gatekeep girl boss. My mom makes the best fried tacos. She always makes them with like taco and meat and then like deep fries the whole thing. And then the last time she made it, she put cheese in it. And I'm like, this tastes different. You put cheese in it this time. She's like, I always put cheese in it. I've been putting cheese in it. I swear there has never, ever been cheese of these tacos. She's like, but the meat doesn't stick if I don't put cheese. I'm like, I've never had cheese in these tacos. Like, mother, you are gaslighting me right now. I know she's gonna watch this video and she's gonna text me. I always put cheese in those tacos. <laughs> I don't know who to believe. So she's walked up on her mom to scare her. She was ready. She been taking some classes. Those reflexes take years to build. When you just automatically like duck after you do something. Naruto! Sasuke! Naruto! <laughs> <laughs> and she already knows! Mother been watching Naruto. Hey. Yeah? Yeah, kids didn't eat their muffins. That's fine, just throw them out. Say less. <laughs> Goodbye, kids. I thought he was just gonna pick them up and just dunk them in the trash. He was very polite about it. <sighs> Should I eat your muffin, Billy? My dad sent me this at work. Going up the stairs. Gonna... Oh, that looks so fun! Cool guy! But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face! And comment below your favorite one. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click! Click! And make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys!